Hey guys, uh, we're going to do a series of videos on the software packages that I use for DJing, or have used in the past. These are not necessarily video tutorials. What they are, are general overviews of what these programs are and what they're capable of. Now the first one we're going to work with is one that I'm not very familiar with, but I have used only for karaoke purposes, and that's PCDJ FX with the karaoke plugin. If you want detailed tutorials on this, do a search on YouTube. Take a look at Smashy One DJ, take a look at DJ Demo or DJ Disco King. These people use these programs every weekend. Look at them, they're going to be able to help you out more. This is just a general overview. But I am going to show you how to use your extended desktop to display your graphics on a secondary monitor. So here's the video, check it out. And here we go, PCDJFX. What this can work as is basically a virtual DJ console with deck one and deck two and a virtual mixer with a crossfader, uh, channel faders, EQ, pitch control, like you'd have on your deck that you'd have in your rack. But this is all inclusive in your PC. You are able to run these decks off of a real mixing board with one channel being deck one and one channel being deck two if you have a dual sound card and configure this program properly I don't know how to do it so take a look at smashy one DJ he knows how to do this stuff he may do a video on it for you if you ask him real nicely and if he'd like to he can post his video as a response to this video right here and maybe you'll learn a little more about this program than what I'm about to show you these are the record crates down here let's grab Daft Punk Discovery and let's load in a tune you highlight it you come up here to deck one, see this little eject or load button like you'd have on your CD players? Press it with this track highlighted and boom, it loads right in. You can press play and away the song goes. Here's your virtual crossfader. Bring it all over to one side and there you have it. Now let's load in a different tune. Let's grab uh, well, anything really. Let's grab this tune down here. Load it in. We can press play at our leisure and move the crossfader over. And here, there you go. Check it out. Just like your regular CD rack might have. Your gear rack with your mixing board and your CD players. You've got a pitch control right here. Make it go really fast. Make it go really slow. You have your EQ. We can cut the mid. We can cut the high. Just like on your regular mixing board. You also have a fader. You turn it up and down just like on a regular mixing board. Let me show you the karaoke feature of this program. Let's get rid of our mixing board because we don't need it right now and open up the KJ program. Now right here you see a virtual deck much like these virtual decks up here that you are playing your mp3s in except this one plays karaoke files. So let's load a karaoke file in. Open up a karaoke file folder, pick a song and press this load button very much like you did up here with these. The only difference is when we press play we're gonna see graphics in this window right here so let's press play and look at some graphics. Now problem number one right away is this is too small we can't hardly see it our singers aren't gonna be able to see it. There's a little button here that says KJ2 click it. Hi, my name is Double click my this name window is my name is and it fills the whole screen. We already have two problems. When we did our double click on that, there was a stutter in the audio. Did you hear it? Problem number two is, with that full on the screen, we can't see what the heck we're doing with our controls if we want to find more artists or load more tunes. Let me show you how you can get around that. All you need is an S video out of your laptop. On my laptop, the S video plug is located on the left side of the machine right here. Kind of looks like a place you might plug in a mouse, but it's actually for S video. Here is an S video cable. All you have to do is plug this cable right into that hole. Like that. Here's the other end of the cable. They're identical. They're both male. We're going to plug this into the Jumbotron over here into the S video input of the television set. And there you have it. I already know what you're saying. Brian, my TV does not have one of those S-video inlets that you're talking about. 
don't worry, you don't have to have one. Go to Radio Shack or Best Buy or go to eBay and get yourself one of these, which is an RCA or Phono, depending on where you live in the world, 2S video adapter. It's got the RCA female on one side and it's got the S video male on the other side. Take yourself a regular old RCA cable or Phono cable, plug the male end of either side into the female end of the adapter, plug this end into your computer, plug this end into the video input on your television set. Problem solved. Now that we have everything plugged in, let's figure out how to do this. Go into your Windows desktop, right click, and you'll have a drop down window in XP. We'll zoom in here. You've got several different options here. I know it's hard to see on the computer. You're going to want to click the one that says Graphics Properties. And a window pops up right here. You have a couple different options on here. One is multiple display, uh, which is a dual clone display. The other one is Extended Desktop. Click Extended Desktop. For your primary device, choose your notebook. For your secondary device, choose your television and click Apply. It's going to ask if you want to save it. Okay, yeah, you want to save it. Exit out of this. Now, this is what we've done. We have our primary display right here, and we have a secondary display up here on an extended desktop. So basically, our computer is extra long now. That's the second half of the computer. Open up PCDJ. Notice you don't see it up here. Well, of course you wouldn't. Here, watch this. I'm going to move PCDJ like this. And look, you see half of it up here and half of it down here. Check this out. Click the KJ2 button. Grab the window that says PCDJ KJ and drag it over to your extended desktop. Now double click it. There you have a full screen karaoke on one side and you have your full controls on this side with your preview window. Pretty cool, huh? So there you have it, a quick overview of PCDJ FX Plus K. Uh, now, if you've got a video tutorial on PCDJ, regardless of what model it is, if you'd like to post it as a video response, please feel free to do so. That way people can see your video tutorial. You've probably done a better one than I have, but that's a quick overview for those of you who are not familiar with the program at all. As I said before, we're going to have more videos on different programs coming soon. So, there's our first one. Practice and enjoy.